three ways to get more from your habit tracker. But firstly, how do you actually lay out a habit tracker? Well, for this specific habit tracker, I suggest you do it on a whiteboard or on your phone or computer notes. So you don't have to constantly rewrite your habits and it'll get tedious and you'll become boring. And in the end, you might stop doing it. You write your habits from top to bottom in a list in no particular order, which brings us onto tip number one which is it's easiest to have your habits set in one place where you can see all the habits and it's also very easy to track them. This is the reason why I mentioned doing it on the whiteboard or on your e-notes. They are there, set and ready to align with tip number two, which is that at the beginning of your day, rather than remembering the habits and ticking them as you go, which is what most people do, you'd put a red cross next to each one. What this does is it reminds you of what you have to do. This will give you a better push to get the habits completed, especially if you're not feeling yourself that one day. Because nobody wants to see a red cross of disappointment next to an important habit. By ticking it green, it's a message to the brain that you did something extra good, when in reality, it's just a daily habit. It's nothing extraordinary. If you want to keep track of all the extra things you did on that day, you can, but remember, Habits are like targets, you need to hit every day and that's why you'd mark them in red crosses and not something extraordinary you should reward yourself excessively for. And tip three is to have quality over quantity. Of course you want to have as many positive habits as possible, but keep it within reason. I too have found myself down this rabbit hole where you think more is better. It's easy to add habits and add habits, but they don't actually serve you. Though they may seem positive, they are of no use. Concentrate on habits that are just ace, like journaling, meditating, visualizing. Then you can have a few personal ones. For example, I have a habit of making 20 ideas for a set topic per day to enhance my creativity. But always remember the habits that are the most important and will actually get you moving from A to B are hours of deep work, hours of training, etc. These are the habits you must spend the most time on and this is what this is what will cause you to become better and succeed 